NC Piedmont Outdoors presents Canteen Cup Cooking Thanksgiving. Brought to you by Slammer Series Turkey Calls, made by a hunter for hunters. Get your turkey call today by visiting www.slammerseries.com. Also, Aqua Leisure Services, LLC, serving Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, and surrounding areas, servicing all your pool and spa needs. And Sign Scientists, providing a broad range of services, including wall murals, vehicle wraps, design, print, marketing services. Regardless of your business requirements, their experts are up to the task. Visit www.signscientist.com or call 919-685-7641. Hey everybody, it's Joe from NC Piedmont Outdoors. Uh, it's Thanksgiving week, so uh, what are we going to cook? Well, I think this time we're going to cook some little Thanksgiving dinner in the woods. So what do I have for you? As always, I have my Pathfinder Canteen Cook Set. I'm going to use my uh, canteen with that and the lid. Got some water in my canteen. Got some Crisco oil. I've got some cider, um, premium white turkey and water. I got some gravy mix, a little salt and pepper. I've got some cranberries. I've got some turkey stuffing. I've got a little bit of butter in this container right here. Uh, as always, of course, I've got my Coleman stove ready to be lit up and go. So um, let me go ahead and uh, get the stove started and we'll start putting stuff together and walk you through it and for a little Thanksgiving dinner in the woods. Here we go. So what I'm gonna do is start. So first, I'm gonna take my uh, Pathfinder uh, canteen cup here and I'm going to put some water in here. Well, actually, I'm gonna put the butter in first, kind of melt that butter, drop it in. I just got about a tablespoon of butter probably. That's all I really needed because I know I'm not going to use all of the stuffing. So I'm going to take water and I'm going to add about a cup or so, just under that 400 milliliters there. I'm going to eyeball it. I certainly don't need all of the uh, all of the uh, stuffing mix. That's, that would be a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the burner here put my lid on it and let that boil so as that water the butter's in there it'll melt the water will boil as soon as it does I'll go ahead and add the stuffing and get that going in the meantime I'm gonna open up this can of turkey and I'm going to put that in my other canteen all right so now I've got my other canteen here ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of Crisco oil in there just a touch okay then I'm going to keep that lid on. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and open the can of turkey and put that in there. This time I am going to um, I'm going to go ahead and drain the water. I don't really want um, the water included uh, this time uh, when I'm when I'm cooking. So uh, definitely don't want that. I just want the turkey. That way I can put it in there with a little salt and pepper, heat it up. And kind of mix it all together so that's that's my plan what i'm going for today and unfortunately this can that i got at the dollar store doesn't have the pop top like the chicken so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, dump out that water here you don't need to see all that i'm just dumping out the water on the side here squeeze it real good get it all out all right pop that lid here so yeah it just looks like the same kind of can of chicken that I've used before so it's just it's just turkey so I'm gonna go ahead and get that oil on the fire there and start heating it up a little bit now I know it doesn't take long uh, these stainless steel canteens it takes a little bit longer to heat but um, not that that much so let's see I'll check my water real quick make sure oh yeah that burner's still on so. all right I see that sizzling a little bit this is not boiling. I'm going to turn this up. Get that a little bit. All right. So the oil is popping a little bit. I'll take that off the heat for a second, and I'm going to drop in my turkey. All right. Good. Yeah, it didn't take long for that oil to heat up. So. All right. I'm going to put my turkey in there. Scrape it all out. Perfect. That will go in the trash for sure when I'm done. Put this back on the heat and turn it down. Turn it down. I'm gonna go ahead and add again just a little bit of just a little bit of salt and pepper. This is your standard, you know, um, 
salt from fast food. I think this is Chick-fil-A. Just a little bit of salt, not too much, and some pepper. There, perfect. So I'm gonna let that cook up a little bit. Mix. Turn it up. Okay, it's on. Okay. Let that brown. All right. Uh, let's get this stuff going, and then I'll. All right, so I made a switch. I moved the uh, water over here on this burner to the right. It seems to be throwing a little bit more heat than the one on the left. So I've moved the turkey over here, and I'm just going to kind of let this brown and heat up uh, on this side, and then let this uh, canteen um, go ahead and boil the water. So the butter's melting, and the water, but the water hasn't yet boiled. So I'm just going to let that go, and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the stuffing in the in in this one, obviously. Um, so put the stuffing in there to cook that. And then in this canteen where I have the turkey right now, I'm just going to add this gravy mix with a little bit of water. I'm just going to kind of put that all in there together. I guess you can see that. So I'm just going to add this with some water in here and just kind of mix that all together. And then once that's done, I'll just go ahead and add the stuffing right to it and add a little bit of cranberry. So let's, um, I'll bring you back as soon as this water starts boiling and then throw in that stuffing. All right, so this turkey is... You can hear it kind of sizzling on the bottom there. I think it's cooked through. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead, and in this canteen with my turkey, I'm going to go ahead and add this gravy mix. Because at Thanksgiving time, I love gravy. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. And I'm just going to pour this all in here. Just like this. Empty this whole pack. Just like that. I'm going to take a little bit of water, you need a pack of that, and you need about a cup of water. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go ahead, now inside on the canteen, I have it marked. So I'm just going to go ahead and add about a cup of water. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stir that together, and just let that cook. And let that thicken and boil. So if you can see that, that's, uh, let's see if I can show you that, make sure you, if you guys can see that real good. So yeah, so it's a little bit watery, but that's okay, because as it heats, it's going to thicken a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that cook nice and slow with the lid on, to bring that to a little bit of a boil. And then, while that's doing that, this... Uh, is my water and butter for the stuffing. It's not quite boiling yet, but it's just about there. So um, as soon as this starts to boil, I'll show you how much stuffing I'm kind of throwing in there, and then uh, we'll bring it all together. Okay, my uh, uh, butter and water here is boiling, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up this um, turkey stuffing. I'm going to put about, oh, I guess, about close to half the bag in here. Uh, certainly not all of it. I'll just kind of eyeball it a little bit, but put it all like that. Let's see if I can, there we go. That's about half a bag or so, so I'll just roll that up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, I mean, if it looks too, too water, I can always add more, so just kind of eyeballed it. So we'll go ahead and stir this up. I think that was just about the perfect amount. So, got to watch on these canteen cups, um, especially this kind. The one with the butterfly handles, you know, the handles lock and they're easier to use. But I'm finding with the Pathfinder canteen cup, um, every time you put something heavy in the canteen, whether it's liquid or, or some kind of food, um, 
the, the metal clip clasp here it seems to like pop out and the handle seems to like fall so you got to be very careful when you're doing that because I don't, you don't want it to fall out on you so if you kind of get a look at that if you can see it um, so yeah it's, it's good moist stuffing uh, it looks like all the water has been absorbed so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that on the heat a little bit I'm just gonna turn it down I'm just gonna turn it down so it stays a little warm put my lid on it I don't care if it uh, gets the bottom a little crunchy uh, as for my gravy and meat not quite boiling yet um, but it did kind of thicken a little so that looks pretty good so as soon as I see that first couple boils here in this gravy I know this is done now for the cranberries so uh, sometimes you can take these and you can put them in another container with some water and you can rehydrate them uh, to make them a little bit softer if you like but I think they're fine just the way they are for this particular cook so I'm going to get a little sample there I'm just going to drop a few in my stuffing kind of mix it in for some texture and that will be my dinner so let me go ahead and um, put this all together and show you the final product before I start to eat alright so I moved my other canteen with the gravy and turkey into this other uh, side of the burner here and it's it's starting to boil you can see I'll let you show that see it's it's starting to bubble just a nice slow bubble it's thickened up a little bit I don't want to burn the bottom so I'm just gonna watch that for another second or two and then here like I said I'm just gonna take these cranberries and I'm just gonna drop a few uh, into my stuffing like this and like I said give it a little bit of texture and give it a little bit of cranberry flavor not a lot not a ton just enough it's perfect mix that up it's great this is gonna be so good it's cold you know it's cold today it is Thanksgiving week so I'm gonna have real turkey on Thanksgiving uh, and then maybe we'll do a video about what we do with the actual leftovers but in a pinch you know it's, it's that time of year and I was I really felt like doing some kind of a Thanksgiving canteen cook. So here you can see the, um, let me show you that. You can see the gravy and the turkey right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to pour this right into my canteen cup. I'll just do this right here. And mix this all together. And boy, this is actually what I like to do with uh, leftovers as well. Just kind of like put it all in a pot and cook it up. So this is something I really do enjoy. So I'll put my canteen off to the side here. I'm going to turn off the stove now. Shut this down. Shut off the other burner. There we go. That's off. All right. And the final product. Again, you got to be careful with this canteen, especially when there's a lot of food uh, product in here. So I'm just going to mix this up with the cranberry turkey the gravy oh boy look at this look at this look at the amount of food and look at what it looks like in there the stuffing the gravy the turkey just all mixed in there the cranberry it's perfect it's Thanksgiving dinner in a canteen cup in the woods this is just awesome so let me go ahead and uh, start to enjoy this so again um, hey if you like uh, what you saw here please go ahead and hit like uh, if you like some of my, this video or my other videos, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And uh, any comments you have for me or whatever, I'm, I'm more than happy to, uh, I'll respond to them as quickly as I can. And uh, we look forward to making uh, new videos in the future. Not sure what my next recipe would be. Maybe some actual turkey leftovers from Thanksgiving. Um, thinking about what I could do for Christmas. Got a couple other recipes in my, uh, in my back pocket. So... Uh, hope you all do well. Hope you, you and your family have a good Thanksgiving. Uh, and God bless you. God bless America. And uh, we'll uh, have a new video for you soon. Thanks for watching.